So much like this game, uh, Steve and I are sort of having to uh, MacGyver this video. I've forgotten a piece of the tripod, but anyway. Plus it's loud and it's, <laughs> it's just crazy it's just around here right now. It's right now. The Roger Center, I'm sorry. Uh, the game was a bit of a mess too, Steve. Well, uh, it's, it certainly was. It, this wasn't the kind of game that the Ticats usually win, as you pointed out. I didn't realize this is their first close win of the year. Yeah, 0-3 in games of four points or less. Now, this wasn't a four-point game either, but it could have been very easily without Emmanuel Davis's interception to y seal again. it. So, uh, But, you know, I... The Tigers did enough to win this game, I thought. Uh, it just wasn't very pretty. Well, yeah, it, it's a funny... They Even in a night in which they could not find a way to put teams away, a team away, they found a way to put a team away. Right. You know, and, and really, this one was... Uh, as Simone Lawrence was saying to me afterwards, it was an eight-quarter game, so you're going to see this kind of thing. I thought the Ticat defense was exhausted at the end. Uh, Harris wisely in the second half started to roll out and it, yep. it bought them time it bought them room it i don't know why they didn't do that last week i, I guess they couldn't but they they avoided the rush and they put a lot of pressure on a on a defensive backfield that was starting a couple of guys that don't normally start there yeah and i think defensively uh zach Clarus was saying after the game that uh you know the argos changed up a little bit it got deeper drops took away some of the deeper shots for Hamilton, and that led to the Ticats sort of going to a little bit more underneath stuff and getting the running game going, which is something they haven't done a ton of. And it was, it was mostly effective, particularly in the second half. Well, I thought Hawley did another good job there. Yeah. He did it, you know, I think he's the running back now, clearly. And putting in the Canadian as the second running back, as you had mentioned earlier during the week, when they put Woodson in on the lineup, that allowed uh, Caldwell to come on. David Caldwell to come on, and what's he do? Blocks a punt. Yeah, I mean, this is the kind of small roster ratio stuff that I think doesn't get enough attention in no. this league because a lot of, you know, it's it's minutia to a certain extent. But that little piece of minutia, that little piece of, you know, Grigsby for uh, Caldwell for Woodson, Woodson, all adds up to a block punt, and that adds three points to your. Amazing. You know what I mean? While so, we're on Canadians, Matt Coates. Yeah, gets his first touchdown. Gets his, how and, great is that? And and everybody for was, him. Yeah, and I, you can see the team's reaction too, right? Very, they mob them. Yeah, they they mob them really because the guy comes out every day, even in practice, he doesn't get the ball much. Most of the last couple of weeks, two or three weeks, Caleros hasn't even looked his way. He's not part of the, the check down. Yeah, he's but playing that Z receiver he's spot. Playing that you way know, he's playing that way outside. He's not getting a lot of balls his way, but he really puts the work in, right? Well, he really does, and that's yeah. what that's what they were mobbing they him for. It, yeah. And I and I think. The other thing is, it comes at a very big time. There's a there's an interesting thing going on here next Saturday at Tim Hortons Field, where the Hurricanes are going to play the Burlington Braves, and they think it's the first ever junior game that's played on the same day as a, as a CFL game, as part of a CFL package, and that's this Saturday. And Coates, who played there, of course, now gets the touchdown. Bombin, who was on the, uh, Bombin was played for Burlington, and I think Coates played for Hamilton. They both played significant roles tonight. We should probably talk about the Kent Austin bump because I think it's yes. going to be a thing. It is going to be, be a thing. thing right? Yeah. So Kent Austin bumps uh, Dave Stowell on the sidelines uh, during the game. was picked up by TSN cameras. Uh, the the uh, GIF made its way onto the web in less than 10 minutes. And uh, by the time the game was over, the TSN panel was talking about it as well. What well, happens? Well, I... I, I I don't think anybody knows. I don't think anybody knows. There's not a lot of precedence for this on coaches. We know what would happen if it was a player. Yeah. Um, Kent said afterwards he didn't even... He acted like he didn't know about it, uh, that, that it just happened in some, as because he was focused on the field. It doesn't look quite that way in the video. And I think the, I think he's going to have to explain himself to the league at least. I think at least he'll he'll be uh, talked to by the league. A lot of people are saying, and it's really early. I, I don't know how the panel reacted to this on TSN, but I, you know, I mean, you could end up with suspension there. You, you, you could well end up, I don't know that's suspendable. It looked... Didn't look unintentional, but didn't look overly intentional. So I think it's one of those ones. Unintentional, intentional. Yeah, intentional, not intentional. Yeah, yeah. Intentional. I don't know what was going through anybody's head on on that particular play. Stala came up not very happy. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, if he gets suspended for that video, we might get suspended for, for this, this one. one. Yeah. <laughs> nice, so, nice to call. Right. Uh, again, yeah, I do like that nice segue. And and uh, is that supposed to be our cue to leave? I think so. Okay. I just wanted to say that that the Tie Cats win this one despite. A few th very uncharacteristic things given their season this year. The number of times, like the offense ended up doing some really good things, but they didn't jump on some of the opportunities that were given them earlier. Mm -hmm. They had a lot of good karma go their way with all those roughing yep. the passer penalties at the point, and they still couldn't pull away. And that may be just the factor of two games in four or five days. But a win's a win. A win Rogers is a win. Center and a video's a video. So reporting from the Rogers Center with Steve Bowman, I'm Drew Edwards.